Johnny Smith is with me, the hero of the night. <laughs> the last goal to make it 4-3, what a game. Yeah, you know, 2-0 down at half time. Gaffer was just saying we need, to, we need to come out and fight. We need to prove to everyone how much we wanted, how much we want the three points and you know, credit to all the boys on the field. They worked worked as hard as they could in the second half and we got our rewards for it. But Dungannon, they, they looked so good in the first half as we looked quite poor, actually. But uh, to come back the way you did, that shows great character. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we made a bit of a tactical switch, which um, I think well, clearly helped us quite a lot. You know, we went on to win the game and I don't think that uh, they were able to cope with the changes that we made. And uh, there's some discussion over your goal, but you're claiming it. Oh, yeah. You're first. I, I'm a striker. It's always my goal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm happy to get my first goal and obviously on a night where it's an incredible game and get three points on the back of it. A few games in for you over here. How are you settling in? What's it like for you? Uh, well, black eye the first game, <laughs> cut eye the second game. Um, it's still healing, as you can probably see, but um, I've settled in well. You know, I've, I've had a tour of the town and the city, been to a few different places and had some good food, met some nice people, and, you know, I'm, I'm happy here. Mm. And uh, we look forward now to Carrick. This, this result will give us a big lift, surely. Yeah, of course, and it's all about gaining momentum. You take, you take one game at a time, but... You know, when you have three points off the back of going into another game, it, it gives you that extra lift to keep going and keep getting results. Well done tonight. Thank you. Chrissy, that's a night in football you really enjoy, I'm sure. I don't know about that, Jackie. That's just absolutely over the moon just to get the three points in the end. It, it can't lie. First half, it was looking bleak. Um, just maybe the way things have been going lately. Um, but... That, I don't think anybody would have think, thought we would have come back there in the second half. That, that takes serious char character to come back the way we did tonight. So I just hope that uh, that can give us a wee bit of momentum. You've seen the lift, that, the atmosphere in the second half when the goals mm. were going in, you know, the, the way the fans reacted. So hopefully that can give give us a lift going into Saturday and get another, get another three points. The fans were booing at half time, and you could understand that in a way because, to be fair, and Gannon played really well the first half. Yeah, um, listen, absolutely. Sat Saturday past was, was absolutely unacceptable. Um, the performance we put in, we didn't, we didn't lay a glove on Corian. Um, at the start of the season, probably the warm... I always refer back to the Warren Point game. I think whenever you go to Glentoran, it's, it's going to be a, a difficult game the, the way it is nowadays, yeah. but um, the Warren Point game for me was the issue. Whenever we were in so much control of the game, and never took our chances. Like we could have been easily three or four up at half time in that game and comfortable. And we ended up getting sucker punched. We had a feet, you know, down to ten men and even so I think that game was a problem. And then you, you get beat at Glentorn and that just carries on and maybe you thought that the way we equalised in the last minute against Glavon would give us a lift, but it didn't materialise against Korean. And we were looking at a reaction here tonight, obviously the first half but we didn't get it. But that's in the second half. At the end of the day, sometimes in football, it matters. Is they hand score and we won four three, and we've got the three points. And I just hope that can can kick us on now. Yeah, and as you say, it's our first league win of the season, so that's a a big thing off your shoulder, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's whenever that win doesn't come. I, th I think the Glenavon game. I, I thought probably I could say that a point was a fair result. It probably wasn't then, but like, we had the more clear cut chances. So I was mm. going away from that thing and. Feels like a win the way we equalised in the last minute. But I thought, I thought going away from it, it was two points, a wee opportunity missed to get our first one. But and the longer it goes on, as you say, yes, rightly so, it's it becomes more and more difficult. But then I mean, when you're two 0 down there tonight at Ingannon, it's you're thinking, well, where's the win going to come from? But uh, half time, the boys regroup and the boys are together on there. That's Did one Mr. thing. Did Mr. Jeffrey have a few words at half time? He had a word with us, of course. Uh, but we had a word with ourselves because at the end of the day he, he put things very simple to us tonight and what we had to do and we didn't carry out the instructions the players on the pitch so 
we blame we can only blame ourselves tonight. But I can assure you that, that group's together in there. That group is together, and I think that showed in the second half the way we come back. I don't think anybody in this ground would have thought at half time at two 0 that we were coming back there tonight. So uh, it's a great three points considering how the first half was going, and let's just hope that we can kick ourselves on now. Let's hope so. Onwards and upwards, Chrissy. Thank thanks a lot. Thank you very much, Jackie.